Have you heard of the gut microbiome? Do you know sometimes bacteria are actually good for your body? It's true. There are trillions of microbes living in your intestines, and most of them want to keep you healthy. Crazy, right? Welcome back to MindFit Fusion. Let's get right into it. In this video, I'll share the top nine signs that indicate your probiotics or good gut bacteria are too low. Sign number one, you recently took antibiotics. Let's start with an obvious one. Antibiotics are amazing modern medicines that fight nasty bacterial infections, but they don't discriminate between the bad and good bacteria. So a round of antibiotics often kills off many of the probiotics that were keeping your gut balanced and healthy. This leaves you in a microbiome deficit, opening the door to future health issues. Some common side effects of antibiotic use are digestive trouble like diarrhea, yeast infections, lowered immunity, and skin irritation. So if you recently took some antibiotics to knock out an infection, one of the best things you can do afterwards is rebuild your good bacteria with probiotic supplements and fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, kimchi, and sauerkraut. Replenishing your probiotics will restore balance and get your gut back to full health. Sign number two, you frequently get migraines. Here's an interesting one. New research shows there may be a connection between migraine headaches and imbalanced gut bacteria. Experts believe this happens through a condition known as leaky gut syndrome. When we don't have enough good probiotics in our microbiome, it weakens the intestinal wall, causing small holes to develop. This allows toxins and undigested particles to leak out from the gut into the bloodstream, triggering inflammation. This rampant inflammation produces chemicals that irritate the trigeminal nerve, leading to severe migraine pain. So by replenishing your probiotics, you strengthen your intestinal barrier function. This prevents leaky gut syndrome and the painful headaches it can cause down the road. In addition, probiotics boost production of serotonin in the gut. This feel-good chemical produced by your good bacteria helps regulate pain perception. So if you deal with regular migraines, upping your daily probiotic intake from foods and supplements may provide real relief. Sign number three you're dealing with digestive troubles. This next one is probably no surprise. If you're struggling with digestive issues like bloating and gas, constipation, diarrhea, acid reflux, irritable bowel syndrome, it's very likely related to insufficient levels of good bacteria in your intestinal microbiome. Probiotics have been clinically shown to help treat and relieve a wide variety of digestive troubles. By balancing your gut flora, probiotics reduce inflammation in your GI tract, destroy harmful pathogens, and optimize healthy digestion. For many folks, adding in a high-quality probiotic probiotic supplement and fermented foods each day is enough to resolve long-standing tummy troubles. Give it a try and see how much better your gut feels. Sign number four, you suffer from skin conditions. Now this next one may surprise you, but did you know probiotics can actually clear up inflammatory skin conditions like eczema, acne, and dermatitis? It's true. Because so much of our immune system lives within the gut microbiome, an imbalance of gut bacteria shows up in various ways throughout the body, including as skin issues. Insufficient good probiotics allow bad bacteria and yeasts like candida to take over in the intestinal tract. This creates inflammation and permeability of the gut wall, which triggers systemic inflammation and can manifest as rashes, acne, acne, eczema flare-ups, and more. By rebalancing your microbiome with probiotics, you reduce inflammation levels in your whole body. This will calm flare-ups and gradually improve skin health over time. Probiotics also maintain the integrity of the gut lining to prevent leaky gut syndrome that can worsen skin issues. So if you want to say goodbye to irritating skin problems, make probiotics a daily habit. Sign number five, you're dealing with anxiety, depression, or mood swings. Research shows probiotics can help relieve symptoms of stress, anxiety, depression, obsessive thoughts, poor memory, and even postnatal depression in new moms. This is believed to be because our good gut bacteria produce neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine that influence our brain function and emotions. Probiotics also reduce systemic inflammation that throws hormone levels off balance and causes mood swings. Plus, they may stimulate vagus nerve activity, which relays messages between the gut and brain. So if you find your mood swinging like a pendulum or you just feel down, stressed, or not yourself, Try amping up your daily probiotic intake. Sign number six, you get sick all the time. Nothing slows us down quite like getting sick. If cold and flu season has you down for the count, your probiotics may be too low. You see, beneficial bacteria serve as frontline defenders of the gut and entire immune system. They crowd out pathogens, destroy toxins, and modulate our immunity. Without enough of them, nasty invaders can easily slip past your defenses and cause infection. Loading up on probiotics replenishes your microbiome with reinforcements that make you more resilient against illness-causing bacteria and viruses. A diverse gut microbiome trains your 
your immune cells to identify any interlopers and stop them in their tracks. So if you feel like you catch every bug that's going around, probiotics may be the immune booster you've been looking for. They'll reinforce your body's defenses so you don't go down so easily. Sign number seven. You deal with seasonal allergies or asthma. As we've discussed, probiotics have powerful immune-modulating effects throughout the body. Research shows they can reduce inflammatory responses that drive allergies and asthmatic attacks. Probiotics balance the T-helper two-pathway of your immune system so it doesn't overreact to harmless substances like pet dander or pollen. For many folks, probiotics reduce allergy symptoms like runny noses, watery eyes, and skin reactions. For asthmatics, probiotics decrease hypersensitive airway reactions that lead to attacks. This results in fewer episodes episodes of wheezing and improved lung function. So if seasonal allergies make you miserable or asthma has you wheezing, replenish your good bacteria with probiotics. They'll calm your immune overreactions so you can breathe easy. Sign number eight, you're recovering from food poisoning. Stomach bugs are never fun. Food poisoning strikes when nasty pathogens like Salmonella, E. coli, or norovirus invade your GI tract and wreak havoc. It leaves you hugging the toilet as your body tries desperately to expel the invaders. Definitely not a good time. The good news is probiotics can help halt the mayhem and get your digestive system back on track. Good bacteria crowd out the troublemakers before they can multiply and cause more damage. They also secrete antimicrobial compounds that destroy pathogens. Probiotics even fortify the gut environment to make future invasions less likely. After food poisoning, take a high-strain probiotic to replenish your microbiome with an army of protective bugs. Make probiotics a regular habit, too, for long-term digestive protection. A balanced gut microbiome stands guard against pathogens so you won't get floored next time a bug comes around. Sign number 9. You get recurring yeast infections. Lastly, let's talk about probiotics and female health. Ladies, if annoying yeast infections are a recurring problem for you, inadequate good bacteria is likely to blame. Yeast like Candida allicins thrive in the warm, moist environments of the vagina and GI tract. When our probiotics are low, yeast overgrowth happens easily. This overabundance of yeast causes infections with unpleasant symptoms like itching, burning discharge, and pain. The solution is to balance your microbiome in both your gut and nether regions with probiotics. Good bacteria crowd out yeast inhibit their growth and create an environment that discourages infections. There you have it, the top nine signs indicating your probiotics are too low and you need to take action. As you can see, probiotic bacteria play many important roles in keeping our bodies healthy. When our good bacteria are low, the consequences show up in various ways. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the MindFit Fusion channel for more videos on videos on gut health and overall wellness.